120 to 120 Okay, I'm gonna stop there because I'm scared of Welcome back to Built by Apes. Over the years, Mazda has given us small, iconic, high-performance hatchback. In 1985, they gave us the Mazda 323 GTX, a 1.6-liter turbocharged engine with DOHC rocket ship, which produced a whopping 140 horsepower. Then, in 1991, they continued the Mazda GTX model, which comes with an all-wheel drive 1.8 turbocharged engine which produced 160 horsepower. Then, in 2007, they gave us the Mazda Speed 3, a Ford Focus ST killer which produced 163 horsepower and a massive 380 Newton meter torque. Fast forward 14 years into the future, in a boring, eco-mindedness era of automotive, they have given us this. The sleek, rather beautiful, the all-new Mazda 3 hatchback. No, this is not the car that we're going to talk about in this video. This is our own 1985 Master 323 hatchback has a puny little 1.3 liter carburetor engine which doesn't make much and it's the same year as the legendary GTX but the GTX never came here so we basically pick out the next best thing the car that we're going to talk instead in this video is this thing's great great grandson which is very sleek looking super modern very quick compared to this car high-tech and eco-minded car the all-new Mazda 3 hatchback so the old kit meets the new kit on the block back when this thing was first released in 1985 everything was still on floppy disks VCR and Goose and Maverick Top Gun is still in the movie theaters. 37 years later, the era of cloud storage, Netflix, and an all-new cast of Top Gun. Tom Cruise is still in it, so it's pretty good. Let's save that for later. For now, let's jump into details. If you take a closer look at this car, you might find that the feel is premium because you get uh, full LED headlights and tail lights and also even the turning signals. And I'm glad it's not an HID headlight because when I see one on the road, it feels like I'm going to crash into Kingdom Come. This car has a 2.725 millimeter of wheelbase length, which isn't too bad for a hatchback. It also has an overall length of 4.460 millimeter and an overall width of 1.765 mm. This car is available in six color choices, and those colors are Platinum Quartz Metallic, Soul Red Crystal Metallic, Polymetal Gray Metallic, Machine Gray Metallic, Jet Black Mica, and Snowflake White Pearl Mica. On the back, it has this blacked out roof spoiler that always come no matter what color you choose from, which I think a little close resemblance to a sun visor because of its design. The rear window is a tad bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, especially combined with this spoiler. One of the things that I love about Mazda is they hit the boot button under the logo to maintain its sleek look. The rear bumper design is so smooth and slick looking combined with this black portion on the bottom gave this car a big fat booty look. Moving on to the side, we have the side mirror that is mounted not on the window frame but on the door panel. This is to eliminate some blind spots and talking about blind spots, 
Have you seen the C pillars on this car? The C pillar is one of the biggest C pillars I have ever seen in my life. And people actually went nuts about this. Turns out having C pillars this big resulted in an incredibly poor rear visibility. It was recorded that the closest point of the road you can see through the rear window is 97 feet. That is insanely farther than most SUV. On the bright side, having C pillars this big gave this car the iconic sleek look that everyone was craving for. This car has the 18 inch wheel with a darker tone color compared to the Mazda 3 sedan. And next to it, you can see this side skirt that is painted matte black to please the younger generation. Over here, we have the auto unlock door handle. Just put your hand in and boom, the door is open. Now, let's see what's inside. Right when you get in, you will feel secure because this seat has a thick side to hold you in place. The cabin feels a little bit cramped for a car this size. As for what you see, you immediately notice the red interior design with soft touch material here and here. Although the instrument cluster isn't fully digital, it still retains the modern look with a digital center speedometer, which you can customize yourself by Mazda's given options. The steering wheels have buttons for you to play with. There's quite a lot of them actually. Uh, on the right side, uh, this controls the cruising control that this car has. And on the left side, there's these buttons to control your head unit for entertainment. And let's not forget that Mazda has given us this flappy paddle shifter, even though we can change gears using the shifter. But the flappy pedal is always nice to have. Up here, we have a heads-up display, which I like because it makes me feel like a fighter pilot or living in the year of 2077. Moving on to the head unit, it has a minimalistic and elegant design. Not too big, but big enough not to cause an eye strain. You can control the display down here with this dial, some shortcut buttons here. Electric parking brake switch over here which comes standard in most of modern car. Over here, we have sport mode, which I would recommend using if you are miles away from your home and holding a number two. Or you can use the normal mode to save our planet and become an eco-warrior and maybe find a nearest restroom to do your business. As for the rear seat, the material is also leather, but judging for where Kivano is sitting right now, there's not a lot of legroom. Behind the rear seat, lo and behold, a baggage space. It has just over 20 cubic feet of space with its rear seats up and 40-ish with the seats down. The space may fit your bill for planet-saving stuff such as your recycled trash bin or compost material and whatnot. That's it for interior. I say, we drive. Drive. This car is priced at 523 million rupiah, but I think it's kind of expensive. But considering all the tax and all the gimmicks on this car, I think the price is well worth it. In Indonesia, this car is only available in one trim. It has the same 2-liter Skyactiv G engine as the Mazda 3 sedan that produced 153 horsepower with 200 Nm of torque. It comes with the 6-speed Skyactiv transmission. Mazda Skyactiv transmission gives all its vehicles that definitive Mazda feel. After a few minutes of driving this car, you will realize that it is an agile car. Steering is light and very, very responsive. It remains comfortable even through bumpy roads, so that's a good job on the suspension engineer. As for powers, woo! Okay, 120, 120, 120, 120. Kilometers per hour still climbing, 100 and Okay, I'm gonna stop there because I'm scared of this car. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
This car is equipped with a sport mode, which I have tried earlier. And I think the sports mode is quite reliable. It gives the car a definitive acceleration and it brings out the full potential of the car. As for the safety system, this car comes with the collision warning and collision braking. So it works like any other safety systems on other cars and other brands. And it also have the cruise control and lane keeping assist. While the lane keeping assist helps you stay inside the lanes and the cruise control can help you cruise in a certain distance from the lead car. This car is also equipped with a sunroof, gives the hatchback Kind of a cool vibes when you're driving down the highway and it's a sunny day and you want to get some sun in your, on your skin. We can go on and on about the ups and downs of this vehicle. But the truth is, this car is one hell of a ride and it is fun to drive. Yes, it is cooler it is newer, it is faster, and all the new things. But deep inside, this is still Top Gun. This is still Maverick. It retains its hot hatch soul. Fun, smaller than other cars like a hot hatch should be. And that is what we love from the development of cars. You can add safety, you can add new technologies, even some eco seasonings and all the new things. But you don't ever forget your DNA. One hell of a car. Now, if you like this video, please support us by clicking the subscribe button down below and be sure to hit that notification button also so you won't miss our future projects and video. And if you're wondering about the t-shirt I'm wearing right now, this is the official merchandise of Built by Apes, the Mazda 323 BF hatchback. And you can check this out on our website and be sure to check out our other website uh, where we sell uh, the anime themes merchandise. And thank you for watching.